Kispipton. Kispiptons, including Kispipton minus 54, Kp minus 54, formerly known as metastin, are proteins encoded by the Ks sown gene in humans. Kispiptins are ligands of the G protein coupled receptor, GPR54. Kisone was originally identified as a human metastasis suppressor gene that has the ability to suppress melanoma and breast cancer metastases. Kispiptin GPR54 signaling has an important role in initiating secretion of gonadotropin releasing hormone GnRH at puberty, the extent of which is an area of ongoing research. Gonadotropin releasing hormone is released from the hypothalamus to act on the anterior pituitary, triggering the release of luteinizing hormone LH and follicle stimulating hormone FSH. These gonadotropic hormones lead to sexual maturation and gametogenesis. Disrupting GPR54 signaling can cause hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism in rodents and humans. The Kisone gene is located on chromosome 1. It is transcribed in the brain, adrenal gland, and pancreas. History In 1996, Dr. Danny Welch's lab in Hershey, Pennsylvania, isolated a cDNA from a cancer cell that was not able to undergo metastases after the human chromosome 6 was added to the cell. This gene was named KIS, sown because of the location of where it was discovered Hershey, Pennsylvania, home of Hershey's Kisses. Introduction of this chromosome into the once active cancer cell inhibited it from spreading and the cDNA responsible was taken from that cell. The fact that KIS sown was responsible for this was proved when it was transfected into melanoma cells and yet again metastases was suppressed. Later a breakthrough would occur not involving kispiptin but with its receptor. Three years later in 1999 a G-protein coupled receptor was identified in rat cloned and termed GPR54. Additionally, two years later, this receptor's ortholog in humans would be isolated. Using the identified receptors, endogenous ligands were isolated from cells HK293, B16, BL6, and CHO cone cells that had these receptors inserted into them. The next step in the history of kispiptin involved revealing more of its pathways and the mechanism involved. Kispiptin was found to play a role in hypogonadotropic hypogonadism in 2003, which was supported by several independent lab groups. A mutation in GPR54 was considered responsible for this abnormality because those who held this mutation or were missing GPR54 altogether had problems in gonadal development during puberty. Several other phenotypes related to this mutation included a smaller sex steroid and gonadotropin concentration in the circulating blood. These observations prompted the research on how kispiptin is involved during the beginning of puberty. This research led to the discovery that kispiptin stimulates the neurons that were involved in the release of gonadotropin releasing hormone GnRH and possibly may have some impact on the release of luteinizing hormone. Today, much effort is being made to characterize the regulation of kispiptin and its gene expression as well as to more specifically determine the mechanism behind kispiptin's action on GnRH and LH release. Genomics Kispiptin is a product of the KIS sown gene which is cleaved from an initial 145 amino acid peptide to a 54 amino acid long protein. This gene is located on the long arm of chromosome 1132 and has four exons of which the five and three exons only partly undergo translation. The KIS sown gene was first isolated as a tumor spreading gene by investigators and named metastin. Metastin is derived from the protein kispiptin and is a natural ligand of the receptor known as GPR54 kispiptin, expression in the brain, catalyst for the initiation of puberty. Different types made up of 14 and 13 amino acids have been isolated and they each share a common C-terminal sequence. These N-terminally truncated peptides are known as the kispiptins and belong to a larger family of peptides known as orphamides which all share a common arginine phenylalanine in H2 motif at their C-terminus. 
Among these conserved amino acids are arginine and phenylalanine residues, which are paired in this family of peptides. Also within this conserved family is a C-terminus that has an amide added to it. This family, which kispiptin includes prolactin-releasing peptide and gonadotropin-releasing inhibiting hormone. A polymorphism in the terminal exon of this mRNA results in two protein isoforms. An adenosine present at the polymorphic site represents the third position in a stop codon. When the adenosine is absent, a downstream stop codon is utilized and the encoded protein extends for an additional seven amino acid residues. Structure Kispiptin the gene for kispiptin codes for a peptide that can be cleaved into several pieces. In humans, one of these pieces is made up of 54 amino acids, while in mice, it is made up of 52 amino acids. This fragment is then protolytically processed into several smaller fragments that have been isolated in humans composed of 13 and 14. Each of these fragments has a similar conserved region at the C-terminal sequence consisting of 10 amino acids. Specifically, positions 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9 in this region are completely conserved where any variation seen is due to random mutations. The sequence on the carboxy-terminal side of the conserved region is a well-known site for cleavage in neuropeptides. GPR54 the structure for GPR54 is very similar throughout many different vertebrates. It is composed of 398 amino acids that form seven transmembrane domains, like most G protein coupled receptors. Sequences found in transmembrane spanning regions 1, 4, and 7 are all very highly conserved throughout species. Variation appears in the around the amino and C terminal domains which accounts for the different types of kispiptin receptors seen in various species. Pathway GnRH release Kispiptin minus 54 interacts with G protein coupled receptors, specifically GPR54 cosonar. Other versions of kispiptin are also able to interact with cosonar. Research in both rats and humans has provided evidence that the binding of kispiptin stimulates PIP2 hydrolysis, CATWO plus mobilization, arachidonic acid release, extracellular signal regulated protein kinase 1 ER cone, or K2 and P38 MAP kinase phosphorylation. Although GNRH is located in many areas such as the pituitary gland and the GNRH neurons, research proves that GNRH is highly dependent upon GNRH neuron activation and less dependent on the pituitary gonadotropes. Many studies show that kispiptin has the ability to not only cause depolarization, but also excite many GnRH neurons, leading to high expression of kispiptin in these genes. But, it is hypothesized that there are two different types of GFP GnRH neurons due to expression in some neurons but not others, only one of which responds to kispiptin. The neuron's response to kispiptin is also hypothesized to be related to age and puberty. The binding of kispiptin to the GnRH receptor can have effects on puberty, tumor suppression, and reproduction. Biological function Kispiptin can stimulate secretion of aldosterone and the release of insulin. Kispiptin appears to directly activate GnRH neurons. Evidence for this involves the persistence of a neural response to kispiptin levels even in the presence of TTX, a neurotoxin that blocks nerve signals. Gramicidin perforated patch recordings, about 30% of GnRH neurons respond because only adult mice respond to low doses of kispiptin. It appears that GnRH neurons become developmentally activated by kispiptin over the course of puberty. Kispiptin induces production of LH and FSH, which are required for females' menstruation. Athletes may not undergo menstruation due to low fat levels. Fat produces the hormone leptin, which induces production of kispiptin. Role in puberty The onset of puberty is marked by an increase in gonadotropin secretion, which leads to sexual maturity and the ability to reproduce. Puberty can also be affected by a range of environmental factors and is known to be affected by a person's metabolic capacity. 
Gonadotropin secretion is brought about and regulated by gonadotropin releasing hormone GnRH. GnRH leads to the release of luteinizing hormone LH and follicle stimulating hormone FSH, which primarily target the gonads to trigger puberty and reproduction. The primary event that leads to the beginning of puberty is the activation of GnRH neurons. This event is thought to involve cispiptin slash GPR54 signaling, which leads to the eventual activation of GnRH neurons. Several studies have confirmed that addition of cispiptin to biological systems including rat, mouse, and sheep are able to bring about the release of LH and FSH. In addition to this, the release of these gonadotropins has proven to be dose-dependent. A greater addition of cispiptin peptide resulted in greater release of LH and FSH. Cispiptin was found to evoke one of the strongest effects on the gonadotropin system. Cispiptin's ability to stimulate the release of GnRH and gonadotropins is the result of its effect on GnRH release at the hypothalamus. In rat hypothalamus, it was found that over three-fourths of GnRH neurons co-express the receptor for cispiptin, GPR54, in their RNA. Cispiptin was also able to bring about the release of GnRH both ex vivo and in vivo in rat and sheep. It can be concluded that by activating GnRH neurons in the hypothalamus, cispiptin causes GnRH release which leads to the release of FSH and LH. The major role cispiptin slash GPR54 plays in sexual development was initially found in sexually immature humans and mice. In rats, the initiation of puberty accompanied a greater presence of KIS sone and GPR54 in mRNA. The same events were later observed in mammals, where KIS sone and GPR54 mRNA increased more than twofold in the hypothalamus. This suggests that there is greater expression of KIS sone and potentially even GPR54 at the onset of puberty leading to an increase in cispiptin slash GPR54 signaling that results in the acti. The addition of cispiptin to female rats who had yet to mature led to the initiation of gonadotropin pathway. In humans, it was shown that females at the beginning stages of puberty had much higher cispiptin levels than those females of the same age who had yet to begin puberty. It has been concluded that the activation of the GPR54 slash cispiptin pathway is a catalyst that leads to puberty onset. Role in Tumor Suppression Cispiptin plays a role in tumor suppression. In a study where malignant tumor cells were injected into a model system, the system was then tested for genes involved in the injected chromosome 6. KIS sone was discovered to be the only gene expressed in non-metastatic cells and absent in metastatic, metastatic meaning the ability for cancer to spread to unconnected areas. This suggested that their cispiptin is an essential regulation factor in whether or not a cell will be metastatic or not. Additional experimentation identified CRSP3 as the exact gene responsible for KIS sone regulation within chromosome 6. In clinical evidence studies, KIS sone and cispiptin were found in primary metastatic tumors and growing tumors showing decreased levels of KIS sone and cispiptin. In conclusion, cispiptin plays a large role in tumor suppression. When it is active in cells, the tumor stays consolidated and does not spread or grow. Role in reproduction Cispiptin is highly expressed during pregnancy. In early term placentas, GPR54 was expressed at a higher rate than placentas at term. The expression of cispiptin, however, remains unchanged in the placenta throughout pregnancy. The increased expression of GPR54 in early term placentas is due to the increased presence of intrusive trophoblasts during the beginning of pregnancy. Term cells, by comparison, are less invasive. When measuring cispiptin minus 54 during pregnancy, a 1000 increase was observed in early pregnancy with a 10 Xerox increase seen by the third trimester. Following birth, cispiptin minus 54 levels returned to normal, showing the placenta as the source of these increased cispiptin levels. Role in Kidney Function Cispiptin and its receptor was found in various sites in the kidney, 
including in the collecting duct, vascular smooth muscle, and in the renal tubule cells. Much of the impact on the kidney deals with the increased production of aldosterone in the adrenals glands stimulated by kisphiptin. Kisphiptin directly increases release of aldosterone by several means, the first being through these receptors leading to a direct route to aldosterone release. Own release. Secondly, the H295 are adrenal cells stimulated by kisphiptin can synthesize aldosterone by breaking down pregnenolone more efficiently. Lastly, the kisphiptin angiotensin Roman II pathway of producing aldosterone is increased. Aldosterone that comes from the neighboring adrenal glands causes reabsorption of filtrate in order to retain water, leading to an increased blood pressure. Kisphiptin neurons Kisphiptin expressing neurons are located in anteroventral paraventricular nucleus AV, paraventricular nucleus PN, anterodorsal preoptic nucleus ADP, the arcuate nucleus arc kisphiptin expressing neurons reside in the anteroventral paraventricular nucleus and the arcuate nucleus among others and send projections into the empoa, where there is an abundance of GnRH cell bodies. This anatomical evidence suggests that kisphiptin fibers appear in close anatomical relationship to GnRH parvicellular neurons. In fact, Kispiptin appears to act directly on GnRH neurons via GPR54 to stimulate the secretion of GnRH. However, for kispiptin to be involved in the regulation of GnRH release, it must also be sensitive to circulating sex steroid levels as it is established that steroids produced by the gonads exert regulatory effects on FSH and LH levels through GnRH mediation. Thus, there are at least two possible scenarios that either kisphiptin neurons express sex steroid receptors themselves, or they receive input about circulating sex steroid levels from a different mechanism. Co-expression imaging of KIS sonim RNA using vector red and steroid receptors determined that neurons that express KIS sonim RNA are targets for the action of sex steroids in both male and female.